another edition of Beyond the Hardwood, and this time Gentry's very own head basketball coach, Chico Potts, a Delta man through and through, right? Through and through, through and through. And through. And through. So that kind of leads us to our, our first question. This is your alma mater, and now you're coaching here, and you've been around the Delta. Just tell me what it's like to be home and coach at home. Well, like I said before, I, I love it. Um, when I left Valley as a head coach at Valley, I was unsure how it would be coming back home, coming back to the high school level, and you know, I kind of dreaded it starting off. And but I got here, got a chance to develop a relationship with you know, with my peers as far as with my coworkers. Got a chance to learn these kids, and you know, being that I can relate because I went to school with most of, most of their parents. So it ended up being an experience that I won't, I wouldn't. I wouldn't change it for the world. And I really, I really enjoy what I do. And I'm, I'm proud to be back here at home, you know, being able to give back, you know, some knowledge, some experience of this, of the coaching deal to back to these young, uh, young future leaders. What's, what's kept you here? And what have you seen in this team that's been so impressive, if you will, that's made you want to be their head coach? Well, the community, that's, that's one big thing. Uh, I've always said, you know, sometimes we as professionals, we may get opportunities here and there. But when you when you know that you're wanted and you need it, there's nothing like that. And I, I do know that you know I'm wanted here. I, I, family, friends, uh, supporters, they've expressed that they want me here, they need me here, and you know that makes it easy for me to say no to a Columbus, no to another, you know, this spot, that spot. It makes it easy to do that. So um, right now, there's no other place I'd rather be than being right here at Gentry High School. One of the things we like to do is kind of go beyond the game and, and learn more about you as a person aside from, from being a head coach. So if you're not watching basketball or thinking about basketball, what are you doing? Either cooking or playing golf somewhere. I love golf and I love to cook. I like to eat, so you know I gotta be able to you know, fix some food here and there. Um, family time is also another big, you know, big deal for me. Um, my mom, she's, she's my biggest fan. And she's also my biggest critic at times. Um, but family, eating, and golf. <laughs> family, eating, and golf. Those are those are three good things. What would you say stands out at the end of the week? The best part of your week? Best part of the week, uh, preparing for the game the day before, and then game time. When I walk, when I come from the back or whatever, you know, it's maybe three, four minutes left on the clock while the guys are warming up. Then at last 1:30, I walk out to the floor and we do our deal, and that's what I know is on. <laughs>